Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help from beautiful Waikiki Beach here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, so uh, since posting my first Geek Desk video, I uh, had a couple of people ask me um, how it is that I get my video sources to switch between so many different uh, systems here. For instance, I've got my PC over here. I have a LCD television here with a VGA input and I have uh, an external monitor, keyboard, and mouse hooked up to my MacBook, which you can see right there. And um, so I've made a few more modifications, so I thought I would do a second video um, for this. So let's start off over here. We have the PC side, my keyboard and mouse hooked up. I have a four channel audio mixer, a vocal processor um, for music production that I do. And then in the center, we have a 32 inch Vizio um, LCD TV with a VGA input. Now the nice part about this is that I can switch between the PC, I can output that signal to the TV here, or I can output the signal to my Mac here on this screen. And how I do that is with a KVM switcher. It's very simple. Now here's a diagram I'm going to show you. And uh, it might look a little complicated at first, but uh, I'll explain everything here real quickly. So we start off with uh, a PC. All right, and then my monitor and my sound mixer and everything on that side. Now the first thing I did was purchase a KVM switcher, okay? One side of that plugs into the PC. The other side of that plugs into my MacBook using the Mini DVI, okay? Now I didn't use the mouse and keyboard on this side over here because I have wireless, so that's the direction that I'm going. And then my keyboard, primary keyboard and mouse for my PC plugs into this so I can control the system. Okay, now on this side I'm running, as I mentioned, an external with a wireless uh, uh, mouse and I'm actually using an iMac keyboard with Final Cut Express sticky tabs. And up here on top you'll notice I have a EasyCap DC60++ for video input through Video Glide on the Mac side there. Now one interesting thing, um, problem that I've had is if I'm playing, I like to have TV on in the background when I'm working and doing stuff. But if I'm using the big monitor, as you can see here, let me switch over to the PC real quick. So, all right, so there's my KVM switcher piping my PC into the big screen. But the problem I have if I'm working on a project or playing a video game on the big screen or doing whatever, I have no television to watch or in the background. I like my history channel, arts and entertainment, uh, Discovery, Nat Geo. So what I've done, <coughs> is I purchased a super color high definition um, TV tuner box okay and just to give you a quick view of that right here so it has multiple inputs um, it has a PC cable going into a color separation um, head here going to a mini, uh, mini 8 pin den and then the VGA out running into my Mac side monitor there so we have an audio cable hooked into the speakers here. And then on the front side here, I have my PlayStation 2 hooked in. Okay, so what this now does is gives me the ability on this monitor over here to switch from my Mac. I can now switch over. Let me keep going here. And while that's, uh, let's see, let me jump over. This has like four or five various inputs. Now here's my PlayStation 2 piped into it. And grab the controller here. Okay, so there's Road Rash Jailbreak on the PlayStation 2. Hooked in through the front side of my TV box right there. My PlayStation is down there, it's a PlayStation 2. Okay, so I can be watching TV here, doing PlayStation and using the PC all at the same time. Now, let me pause this and switch over to the television tuner. Okay, and there we have a television tuner. I can change channels. 
watch pretty much whatever I want. Okay. And it comes with a nice little remote control. <coughs> All right. So the reason I'm able to do this is because I have the KVM switcher hooked in. This allows me to go from the PC into here, or I can go from the Mac into here. Now this is an independent function. Now what I did is I put, um, coming out of my MacBook from the DVI to the VGA connector, I put a splitter on. Okay, I picked this up for like five bucks on eBay. One side goes to the KVM switcher, so it can go directly into the input of this screen. The other one, runs into my tuner box here which you can see you just plug your cable TV in it has a VGA to 8 pin and then the VGA output goes to that monitor so um, the diagram might look a little confusing to you but it's really it's not it's a very simple hookup now my PC card has two DVI outputs so I ran a DVI to VGA into my KVM switcher and then I ran the secondary into the monitor right here so I have full um, high definition output there and um, <clears throat> then down here um, I have four port USB which I plug in my video camera my various other items speakers stuff like that and then I have one over here on the PC side as well okay and then down below we've got the PC printer PlayStation 2 with some video games so um, it's very simple. Um, so as you can see right there, I'll give you another view of my little schematic there. So, very simply, if you want your two systems to go in, you need a KVM switcher to go to the output. That way I can switch between the PC or the Mac. And then with this splitter, I plug that into my TV tuner box, and that allows me to switch uh, my output here. So, very simple setup there. Let me back up here so you can see everything. So, that is how I'm able to switch between various uh, video sources. So, I can have uh, the PC over here, I can have the Mac over here. If I'm using the big screen for something else, I can watch TV or play the PlayStation on the side system there. And there's a very simple, quick explanation. And uh, if this video helped you out, post a comment. If not, poke Mahone, as usual. Peace and thanks for watching.